Hey everybody, so it's uh, day 49 of playing chess here on uh, chess.com. Yesterday we went down a little bit in our rating. Uh, fortunately, we made a sacrifice that wasn't too sound and we ended up losing the game. So um, today I wanted to play uh, some shorter games, maybe like uh, still like rapid 10 minutes, but with no increment. And um, let's see how that plays out. Um, maybe I run out of time because I'm also trying to commentate, but um, I don't feel like playing a 15 plus 10 right now. So let's see what happens. Here we go. Okay. We get the the black pieces against somebody from Colombia. E4, C5. I'm going to play the Sicilian. And let's see what uh, variation we get. Been trying to learn some more lines in the Sicilian. So slowly but surely I'm uh, gaining more experience. Okay, knight f3, we go knight c6. Early bishop c4. I'm going to play e6 here. We had a game where, you know, I had some problems there. And d3, I think this was in my, uh, in my Sicilian course. Hmm. So maybe I play um, d5 straight away. He hasn't played knight c3, so I can do it. So let's play that. Then we have two strong central pawns. OK, bishop e7 is fine, I think. He goes back there. I mean, okay. If I just play knight f6, he takes. I don't see the big problem. Getting castled. Yep. Yeah. So I'm not pinned anymore. I could go for this. Um, he attacks this. So I got to protect because he's threatening to take. Bishop d6 seems like a reasonable move. So let's play that. And then we could take the file and play also this. So rook to, rook to e1 takes takes and uh that's a problem because the knight would protect this so let's develop the uh the last piece and then make sure my back rank is secured now i have this idea it's like an, an in-between move right and if he takes i take the queen so why not also hitting this I think this is a strong move. If he takes, I'm threatening to take with check. But then, yeah, I just went the queen, yeah, so that's fine. So everything's attacked here. It's a very strong knight. Mm hmm. I would love to play that, but I can't. I do have this fork now. Attacking the queen again. Also, I have this piece for free. If I take his knight, he might move this back. And then I win a piece, right? Or I could attack here, tempo the queen, and then take there. Uh, this is a free piece, though. What's the right move order? This tempo's the queen. And then he's going to go, I don't know. I don't even know where he goes. All right, let's do that, because a rook is a rook at the end of the day. 
he goes back, then I take. Oh, but then he takes. So maybe taking this first makes sense. Because here, here, if I take, he's going to take. So I'm going to take this probably first. And then I'm going to be up a piece. Why is that a good move? Still threatening the fork, still threatening the bishop. So we're doing well here. So I get the two bishops if he moves this. <clears throat> Should probably take this. Now, although takes here. So if I take here, he can take here. Then we exchange. I take the rook. And I think I can get out there. But I'm just trying to see if I should save my bishop first. Maybe here. And he can go back here. I think this is better. Yeah, I think that's more accurate. So what if I take here? And then I save my bishop. Or I could take here. Could also go for this. And he can't take, and it's still getting forked. So here, here. That's interesting. So should I do that in Termezzo? Here? And then he could play... Well, he could... could just go here. That's interesting. Let's, let's think about this for a moment. Queen g6, how does he stop my threat? Can't take, he can go here. Once I take, he can take. I can take here. That's good. Or I should take the rook, take back. Yeah, let's take a rook first. So let's take this rook, actually. So I'm going to take the rook. So now I'm going to take this rook. I'll take this rook. Yeah. I can also hit this. And if he takes, I'm going to take. I also have this. Hitting this and this. Take this pawn. Does he have any checks? No. And then he's going to go here. Right? And I could just save my bishop. I feel like this is just easier. Here, here, however. Why don't we um, take this pawn? I feel like I'm keeping the queens on the board, but this is good. So I'm threatening my bishop, so I should probably move it back. Okay. I got three minutes with no increment, so it's the only thing. And then I'm threatening this. That should be good. I'd say pretty decent game so far. Okay, so I'm going to go here, threatening this and this. And if we get the queens off the board, I'm going to be pretty happy.
and I think I can manage with 245 on the clock. If you know what I mean. Okay, so if I trade, I think I'm just going to take the knight. Yeah. Now, if I go here, here, check, there, there, check, takes, check. Okay, that seems to make sense. And I go check, takes, check, and then take, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's it. We got the win. Pretty good win, I would say. One mistake, no blunders. Um, let's take a look at the game review. Let's see. Okay, so we played 91.2 accuracy, which is pretty good. And uh, we played like a 2150. That's uh, always pleasant to see. Okay, so yeah, this is all theory. And E6 is uh, definitely in my course. And D5 is the best move <clears throat> because D3 is a pretty passive move, I believe. You know, it's not really a, a testing variation. I think in my course, if I'm not mistaken, just go back for a second. Uh, knight c3, yeah, that's the best move. And I believe like a6 uh, is one of the ideas. Yeah, a6, d6, bishop e7, all these are ideas. Uh, but I think my course offers a6. So after this, um, Bishop e6 is better. Interesting. Okay. We just developed and castled. Yep. And then uh, Bishop d6 was a good move. And this was a miss. Okay, let's see what we missed. So h6 takes, 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 takes. Um, doesn't seem to win a lot of material. I wouldn't say I'm crazy about this position. It's good, but I don't see what the what the big miss is about. What does it say in the review? It says G4 is a miss. Yeah, well, it doesn't say anything. Okay, and then the, this was yeah the mistake. So because knight D4 is a is a great move. Let's see how precisely we played it. So best move we took there. Okay, that was the best move as well. And then taking there wasn't best. So maybe. Um, what was the best move? Yeah, threatening the checkmate. Um, and if this she takes g3. Ooh. That's a nice move. Bishop takes g3. Okay, that would have been that would have been cool. But okay, this is still good. And we took this rook, and we took there. We just moved it back. And then we just offered, you know, the queen trade. And then, yeah, this was just, you know, uh, the cleanest win because after takes, takes, he's going to have to move king somewhere. And uh, I'm just going to take here. And um, yeah, this is, I just have to be careful of this, right? So uh, queen takes f3. Well, actually, I'm sorry. Bishop f8 is there. So queen takes f3. Check back. It's um, It's completely fine. This would be over, um, and I would have no uh, no real trouble there with uh, winning that game. I believe um, it's been a it's been a shorter video, but I'm actually gonna you know stop right there. That was a pretty nice game uh, that I played, and uh, to be honest with you, I don't want to spoil it with a uh, with a bad game. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna play a better game than this one today. So um, yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, a bit of a shorter video, but uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that uh, game. Um, I'm having fun learning the Sicilian. It's uh, definitely different from the stuff I played before, like the Carcon, the French, uh, et cetera. And uh, yeah, just uh, uh, trying to get more experience, learning some new lines uh, and seeing where it takes me. All right, guys, cool. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Peace.